You stand in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, rightful heir to the Iron Throne, rightful Queen of the Andals and the First Men, protector of the Seven Kingdoms, the Mother of Dragons, the Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, the Unburnt, the Breaker of Chains. This is Jon Snow. He's Jon Snow. Thank you for traveling so far, my lord. I hope the seas were rough. The winds were kind, your grace. Apologies. I have a bottom, I know. But Jon Snow is Jon Snow, your grace. He's not a lord. Forgive me. Your grace, this is Sir Davos Seaworth. Forgive me, Sir Davos. I never did receive a formal education, but I could have sworn I read the last king in the north was king in the north who bent the knee to my ancestor, Aegon Targaryen, in exchange for his life and his life. Sir Davos swore fealty to House Targaryen in perpetuity. Or do I have my facts wrong? I wasn't there, Your Grace. No, of course not. But still, an oath is an oath is an oath is an oath is an oath. And perpetuity means... What does perpetuity mean, Lord Tyrion? A veroff. A veroff. So I assume, my lord, you're here to bend the knee. I am not. No. Oh. Well, that is unfortunate. You've traveled all this way to break faith with House Targaryen? Break faith? Your father burned my grandfather alive. He burned my uncle alive. He would have burned my grandfather alive, my uncle alive. He would have burned the Seven my Kingdoms. My father was an evil man. On behalf of House Targaryen, I committed the crimes against your family. Our two houses were allies for centuries. And those were the best centuries the Seven Kingdoms have ever known. Centuries of centuries. With a Targaryen sitting on the Iron Throne and a Targaryen serving as Warden of the North. I am the last Targaryen, Jon Snow. Bend the knee and I will name you Warden of the North. Together, we will save this country from those who would destroy it. You're right. You're guilty of your father's crimes. And I'm not beholden to my ancestors' vows. Then why are you here? Because I need your crimes. And you need mine. Did you see three Dothraki flying overhead when you arrived? I did. And did you see the dragons, all of whom have sworn to kill for me? They're hard to miss. Still, that doesn't explain why I need your help. Because right now, you and I, and I, and you and I, and Cersei, and everyone else, we're children playing at a game, screaming that the rules aren't fair. Your Grace, everyone you die will know before winter's over if we don't defeat the enemy to the north. As far as I can see, you are the enemy to the north. I'm your enemy. We're finished. Robert was your father's best friend, no? I wonder if your father knew his best friend sent a baby girl to murder assassins. Not that it matters now, of course. You don't believe him. I understand that. It's nonsense. If we don't put aside our enmities and band together, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose behind sits on the skeleton throne. 